Yo, what's up guys? Many of you have been asking me to try out the Sparse Control single image generation. Okay? Let's check it out today. We talked about RGB encoder with first and last frame last time. If you missed it, don't worry, you can catch up by clicking the link at the right upper corner. With just a single image as the starting frame, it's also capable to produce nice animations. From my test and the example videos here, the motion scale is not large, so very similar to that from stable video diffusion. The video interpolation seems useful, and might be an alternative for VFI, but we will skip it for now. Additionally, I want to talk about the scribble or sketch encoder, very powerful. Look at these animations I have made using single picture. Not bad, right? However, you might notice that it's hard to control the motion, and sometimes there are unwanted artifacts in the background. We can use scribble control to denoise and redraw the animations to improve the consistency. This also allows us to experiment with different styles. You can also add control net to guide the animation using some tricks, like the open pose here. It provides a way to make the generation more controllable. We will talk about both later. Let's get back to the workflow. It's modified based on the sparse control workflow version 1. Added with face detailer folder parser, and scribble control path. If you are new here, please check the previous video. So, let's jump to the sparse control part. Recently, Animate Diff Evolved has updated Gen 1 and Gen 2 two families of nodes. It's noted that both produce exact same results, while Gen 2 separates model and sampling applications, and is more flexible. So I updated to Gen 2 here for more future tests. The nodes are shown blue here. For more details you can refer to their web page. Then we need to change the sparse method to starting. Uniform is what we used last time, and there are two more ending and center. We will try ending later. That's all the changes made for this part. Go to scribble control group. To prepare the sparse control input, we need fake scribble lines preprocessor node. And not all the frames are needed, the sparse control can function well with just some inputs. This is the sparse control index method. You need the index of images as the inputs, usually a series of numbers. To make it simple, I just wired up some nodes to automatically create the index. You only need to change the value of every nth node here. The index will be prepared. Just some conversions here. Then this index will be sent into the select image indices node for the scribble preprocess and also to sparse control index method to use as correct frames correspondingly. Okay, let me walk you through this workflow. First, to generate input images. To utilize the help of open pose later, we can preprocess the reference videos and use the first pose picture to generate the starting frame, ensuring the pose consistency. The same thing is applied to the last pose picture too. We will test it later. Now I don't need IP adapter. Bypass it. Time to run. We got the input images for starting frame and ending frame separately. Let's use the one after face detailer. Then, activate the sparse control group and deactivate the image group. I will disable LCM this time and bypass the batch image because we just use single picture. Drag the picture here and deactivate the scribble control for now. Ready to run. We will try without open pose first. Bypass this control net. The animation is smooth, but not controllable for the clothes and sometimes background. I tried several times to get this. To have a better control I suggest to combine with open pose or any other control net you like. Let's try with open pose this time.
It's not bad. With open pose, the animation is smooth. We can rerun to get a better color and outfit. But this is just demo. Let's continue to try the image as ending frame, still single image. Drag the second image we just generated using the open pose from last frame. This looks even better, so you can use this way to change the style with customized motion and postures. Then let's move to scribble control. I used it as image to image. Before running, just mute these three output nodes so it won't rerun. Change the input video to the one we just generated. Hit the run. If you check the input of index, just a series of numbers separated by comma. It's done. This is another style, better lighting and shading, also stable and smooth. Looks good. For total 16 frames we used 8 of them for controlling. If changed to every third we get 6. Every fourth that is 4. One more thing to test is the total frames. We used 16 as default, and let's try 32 now. Change it back to starting. I will just speed up here. The background unfortunately changed, but the person is still consistent throughout the animation, showing the coherent facial expressions, gestures, and clothing. Now redraw using scribble control. The red draw is pretty good but didn't fix the background yet. Maybe we can try even lower counts of input and control strength. If you have a better idea, or a different perspective just let me know. I'm all ears. Okay, that's all for today. A lot of tests. Thanks for watching, have fun.